Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the dev and the beta channels of the Windows Insider program, which is the build 22598. This is the latest build and the good news is that this build is still released to both dev and the beta channels. So if you want, you can still switch between the dev and the beta channels if you want to get out of the dev channel, for example, on Windows 11. Before talking about what is new in this build and what you can expect from it, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel if you want to find out about future videos that I post on this channel. So let's continue with the video. First of all, Microsoft released another ISO for this build, so you can just go in the link down below in the article from the description and you can get to this page. In this page, just scroll down, select the Windows edition, so it would be the latest build, click on confirm, wait for a bit, choose the product language, for example English, click on confirm, and then you'll have this download link and you will be able to download the Windows 11 Client Insider Preview build. To 2598. First of all, Microsoft is announcing that they will offer the new builds also to Windows Insiders in China on Lenovo PCs, starting with this build, so that is good news. And also, Microsoft is announcing that they're trying out auto launching of the Get Started app with some Windows Insiders after upgrade to help people get started with their PC. That is also good. I think we had something pretty similar in Windows Vista, if I'm not mistaken, but this is also really nice. Microsoft is also trying out Windows Spotlight on desktop by default for new devices with the clean installs using the ISO and also for upgrades where the background is the default Windows 11 one. And also Microsoft will try to display 4K desktop backgrounds in Windows Spotlight. All of these will be tested out with a limited number of Windows Insiders at first. Regarding the taskbar, Microsoft updated the tooltip on the volume icon to tell you when you are using spatial sound. This is also a nice change. And lastly, in this build, we have a new update for the Media Player app, we have improved library experience and new video playback enhancements. You can now switch between two different views on the artist page when browsing your collection. One view shows you all the albums in a grid and the other shows you all the songs grouped by album. Microsoft also added quick actions to albums, artists, videos and playlists when you hover over them for a quick selection and playback. As you can see, we have some really nice quick actions that you can use when we hover over certain items that we have on our library. There is also also a new context menu available. If you right click on the now playing screen from here, you can open new files without navigating to another page. You can also quickly access the album page and the artist page for your current song, as you can see. And Microsoft also added a new video enhancements feature as well, which allows you to adjust the brightness and the contrast of your video. And in addition to all these new features, Microsoft is also working on improving the performance of the new Windows Media Player for those with a very large music library. That is also really good. And don't forget that you can leave feedback in the feedback hub for the new media player. This build is not as big as others, but besides everything that I've talked about, we have a whole bunch of fixes that should improve the Windows 11 experience. I'm not going to talk in depth about fixes, but if you want to see the whole list of fixes, you can check out the article down below in the description. Of course, we have fixes regarding the start menu, the taskbar, the settings app, and all aspects of the Windows 11 operating system based on feedback that was left by certain users or insiders that are using Windows 11 day by day. So this is Windows 11 22598. This is another step in the right direction and another step into the release of Windows 11 22H2. So don't forget that you also have the ISO download and if you want to get out of the dev channel, you can still do that for at least one week. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads from this channel. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.